guys welcome to episode 11 of fresh takes and mistakes a new vlog where we're going to discuss weight loss fitness and all the messy mind stuff in between um i'm gonna do this a little differently today because i am upstairs in the love sack and just entirely too comfortable to try to move um <clears throat> i hope you guys don't mind <laughs> but this is how we're gonna do it today so we'll see today during episode 11 i want to talk about something that i did not realize until recently played such a big part in my weight loss journey and my self-improvement journey over the last year and a half. And the subject matter of that is going to be um, helping others. <clears throat> so it seems pretty basic to realize that when you help others, you feel better about yourself. And when you feel better about yourself, you take care of yourself um, and you do better for yourself, right? But a lot of the time, helping others can get to be an overextension of yourself or it can <clears throat> make you feel um, overwhelmed or like you're not doing enough for yourself and I'm here to tell you guys that helping others as a way to help yourself especially if you look at it that way can be it doesn't have to be that way it doesn't have to be an overextension it doesn't have to be um something that makes you overwhelmed. It doesn't have to be something that uh, hinders your progress. Um, and it doesn't have to be huge. Like, you don't have to spend hours of your day or your week taking care of somebody else in order to feel like you're helping others um, and to feel good about yourself. <clears throat> I think that sometimes we feel really guilty for focusing on ourselves, our health, our goals, our personal improvement, our anything about ourselves we feel really guilty about, especially when we're parents or um when we're married or when we have a big family or we have a family that needs us or whatever the case may be we feel really guilty about <clears throat> doing anything to take care of ourselves and so we tend to help people um or we spend a lot of time doing things for other people which is great and it makes us feel really good about ourselves uh, don't mind the bride tribe thing i uh, i was actually at a uh, bachelorette party last night so it hasn't come off yet but i swear i tried it just doesn't want to come off anyway sorry i'm off on a tangent but anyway, a lot of the time we, we get to feeling very guilty about taking care of ourselves. And so we end up spending a lot of time helping to take care of others. <clears throat> and sometimes, honestly, it's it's not even effective. Um, it can make our attitudes bad. It can make us um, feeling kind of depressed or anxious or whatever the case may be. And so when we get that way and we're helping others and we get to feeling that way or we resent the other people that we're helping or whatever the case may be, we're not really helping ourselves and we're not really helping them at that point either. So I just want to preface this by saying there's a right and a wrong way to use helping others as a way to help you achieve your goals, I feel like, for my own personal journey. <clears throat> for me, helping others doesn't need to consume me. And I have definitely let myself be consumed by helping others in the past. But I've learned that if you do little things to help others, um, that still makes you feel good and it still makes you feel like less guilty or whatever about taking care of yourself so you feel more you know, capable of taking some time for yourself and doing things for yourself. Um, but And you're also helping others, but you're not overwhelming yourself with the care of others and feeling responsible for other people's happiness or health, well-being, financial stability, uh, cleanliness, whatever the case may be. Um, you're not overextending yourself by helping others if you do little things to help others and you use it as a way to make yourself feel better and to put yourself in a space where you can do self-love and self-care and um work on yourself and self-improvement and uh, whether it be working out or eating right or meal planning or cleaning your house or saving for a new home or a car or whatever the case is whatever your goal is you definitely um can use helping others as a way to propel yourself towards that goal so I don't know if I ever actually mentioned during the vlog that my main reason for starting the vlog was that I have noticed since I made real progress on my weight loss journey that I see others settle for a life that is less than what they want or less than what they deserve because they just feel like they're not going to get what they want or they're not able to create their own life. And I have come to the belief, it is, it is one of my core beliefs at this point in my life that you can create whatever life it is that you want to live. And the things that you do and the things that you think and the things that you say is exactly what creates that life. Um, so I started this vlog with the intention of just like sharing my journey, sharing the tips and tricks that I've learned, sharing the knowledge that I've gained um, with people 
in hopes to help them realize that whatever goal, whatever life, whatever thing that you want, you are perfectly capable of creating for yourself. Um, and that doesn't mean that, you know, you're you're not maybe not necessarily doing the wrong things or that it's going to be super easy or whatever the case may be. But if you believe that you can do it, you're one step closer to doing it. That's first of all. Um, if you don't believe you can do it, you're just never, you're probably never going to do it if you don't believe that you can. So the main thing is that you believe that you can do it and then you take the steps that you know you need to take in order to get there. But that, I'm, off on a, I'm off on a whole tangent again. The point was, my reason for starting the blog was to help others. And so when I say helping others, I don't necessarily mean in a sense of financial or you know, overwhelming, uh, an overwhelming amount of time that you would need to take for somebody. Helping others can be starting a vlog. It can be posting something nice on Facebook for your friend who you know is going through something. It can be writing a nice review for a business that you went to. Um, heck, if you go to a business and they don't do well, or they seem like, you know, they're struggling, or things are taking too long, or whatever the case may be, you never know what's going on there. Even if you write a good review about whatever was positive about that experience, that can be enough to help others. And it can be enough to help whoever, you know, served you or waited on you or, you know, <clears throat> whatever. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a positive experience that sparks something like that either. Um, if you grab a coffee for a coworker on the way to work, or if you compliment somebody's outfit that day, that those are all ways of helping others. And putting that positivity out into the world, I truly believe, results in positivity, positivity coming back to you anyway. So you're helping others to help yourself because you're putting that out into the world anyway. But I also really feel like when we help others, we tend to feel less guilty about taking care of ourselves. Um, and even if you don't feel guilty when you help others, you feel good about yourself. And when you feel good about yourself, you feel like you deserve to be taken care of and you deserve to meet your goals and you deserve to, you know, live the life that you want to live. So I truly believe that helping others for all of those reasons causes you to do better in your own life and to create the life that you want, um, whether it be because you feel less guilty or because you feel better, you know, good about yourself and you feel proud of yourself and you, you know, feel like you deserve stuff, or if it's just because you're putting those positive vibes out into the world and they're coming back to you. So that's really the end of what I wanted to talk about today. Um, I had a really good weekend where I felt like, um, you know, I had some people that helped me out with stuff and I definitely feel like, you know, for me, it made it made things easier, it made things better, and it really made me appreciative. Um, and I hope that those people are getting those positive vibe back, vibes back and that they, um, you know, always, I hope it makes them feel better about themselves, but also um, I want them to know that I really appreciate it. So that's what made me want to talk about helping others as a way to help yourself, because I truly think that it does help you. Um, and I think that you know, helping others when you're trying to achieve a goal or really we should all help others all the time. But I think it definitely re relates to goal setting, goal attainment, um, weight loss, uh, self-care, self-improvement. I think it definitely applies to all that. When you help others, I think that you are definitely more likely to achieve whatever it is that you are um, trying to achieve for all the reasons that I discussed previously. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am so glad to be back in the saddle, back in the swing of things, back doing the vlogs. Um, and I have got, you know, some exciting subject matter that I want to talk about. I am working on me. I'm still working on my big goal, um, which I don't know if I ever even officially talked about, but I did reach the 100 pound mark. So I have lost 100 pounds and to reach big goal, I am, I'm getting close. I'm getting very, very close. Um, I don't think that I'll ever be done my journey. I think we always have room for improvement, whether that be physical improvement, emotional, spiritual, um, self-improvement, whatever the case may be. I think there's always going to be room for improvement, but uh, I'm pretty proud of the 100 pounds having been lost. I'm pretty proud of hitting that 100 pound mark. So um, if I hadn't announced it before, here's me announcing that I have reached 100 pounds and that I'm well on my way uh, to meeting my big goal. And then we'll set a new one. Let me know in the comments if you like this vlog, if you have any comments, if you if you have any examples of experiences where you've helped somebody and you feel like it came back to you, whether it be positive vibes or it made you feel less guilty or you felt like you deserved, you know, to take care of yourself or whatever the case may be, let me know if that, 
you know, affects you. Or if somebody has helped you and you hope that those vibes go back to them or you hope that it made them feel better, whatever the case may be, whatever you're wishing for them, please comment. Um, let me know if there's any subjects you want to talk about in the future, if you have any questions. Um, and like if you like and share and subscribe if you want to do that. Um, and of course, it always really helps me if you share the vlog. I want to share this message with, with as many people as I can get it to reach just because I really, really, truly believe that you guys are worthy of living the life that you want to live. And I think that you are perfectly capable of creating that life. And if I can help in some small way to make you come to that realization that you are capable of creating the life that you want to live, that's what I want to do. And if any of my advice helps you to do that, I want to do that as well. So again, thank you guys so much for watching Fresh Takes and Mistakes. I missed you guys and I am excited. I'll see you next time.